recognized for his five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I especially thank the witnesses for appearing today. And I earlier made a comment about Nouveau Jim Crow. I'd like to delve into it, if I may. Jim Crow is a term synonymous with invidious discrimination. And I said that minorities and women have lived in a society that has discriminated against them. Um, it took women 144 years to get the right to vote. Longer than that to own property in some places. It was all including commonplace for boardrooms to be all male. Black people suffered 246 years of slavery. Then Jim Crow, convict leasing, black codes, lawful segregation. Is it unreasonable for people who have suffered or had their ancestors suffered these types of atrocities to want to know the makeup of your board? Is that unreasonable? In Texas, my state, I love my state. I don't love a lot of what happens in my state, but I love the state. Let me read this to you. Effective January 1, 2024, a new Texas law prohibits public institutions of higher education from, among other things, establishing a, and or maintaining diversity, equity, and inclusion offices, or hiring, or assigning offices, employees, or contractors to perform the duties of a DEI. Is it, is it really bad to have an office uh, devoted to trying to bring about diversity within an institution or a business? Not mandating, but looking, trying to develop diversity? You got an all-male board? Wouldn't you want to find a way to diversify that? So let me ask uh, Mr. and I'm going to take a stab at it, Ferrix. All right, sir, would you, would you kindly, Rarex. thank you, sir. Uh, please forgive my mispronunciation, no but would you You have kindly, a much easier last name to pronounce than I do. <laughs> okay. would, you, would you please respond to my commentary? I, I do want to talk about economic Jim Crow. One part of Jim Crow was people had to pay a poll tax in order to vote. That excluded all kinds of poor people. One of the efforts here is to raise the threshold for filing a resolution. You say it's too low at 2,000. There was an effort made, <clears throat> an effort made to raise it to 25,000. So what you're saying is, if you are a poorer person, and you're not poor because about half Americans can't afford a $400 emergency. $2,000 is not a, a, a low number for most Americans. But you're saying that if you're a shareholder who doesn't have $25,000 to invest in one company, you don't get to vote. You don't get to have a voice. You don't get to file a resolution. There is no guarantee that your resolution is going to pass. There is no guarantee that the board is going to follow your recommendation. But if you want to be a public company, you ought to be held accountable to your shareholders. And what they're looking to do is to not be accountable. If, if Exxon doesn't want to answer or hear from their shareholders, they can take their company private. And they don't have to do this. They choose to be a public company, and they should hold themselves accountable. And we shouldn't raise thresholds so high that you're basically forming a a modern day economic Jim Crow. I thank you and I'm going to use my last uh, less than one minute to compliment the um, ranking member of this committee. She established a subcommittee for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Trying as best as we can to help corporate America understand the value of diversity, the value to value of inclusion. And I, I just want to compliment her because a lot of this is more about will than way. Do you have the will to do that which you know can bring about positive change? Or will you allow the status quo to dictate your actions and as a result, maintain the status quo? So to Ms. Waters, thank you for what you've done 
And um, I trust that you'll have an opportunity to do it again. I yield back. Gentlemen's time has expired. With that, we have a, a second member who has waved onto the committee, someone who has done a tremendous amount of work. Uh, regarding the proxy advisors, uh, the gentleman from Wisconsin, Mr. Style, and the chair of the House Admin uh, Committee as well. So we can thank him for microphones that work uh, finally. That's been, it had been a while. It had been a challenge. So.